Welcome back to the next episode of the Porsche for Peanuts Projects. So first off, let me get something straight, okay? I've been watching some YouTube analytics and I see you guys drop off as soon as I start talking so much. So we're not going to do that in the beginning. Just going to cover the bare basics. Replacement of the steering wheel and shifter. Got off of Craigslist. Suspension work. We went ahead and uh, did some things to the sway bar, sway bar bushings. Interesting technique of getting that done. Watch and see. Rear brakes and brake lights. Uh, a cost-effective way of getting those fixed. Get rid of some of the gremlins. Check it out. Replastic dip the rims. Actually black with a Duplac color gloss black. Also, finally took that drive again. This car, the sound, car doesn't sound like it's running on two cylinders. It sounds appropriate, especially above 4,000 RPMs. I'll get you some really cool videos a little later, but at least you'll hear it sounding good. And of course, some real life pictures outside of what the car looks like with all the plastic dip so you guys uh, can see if you want to do the project too. So stay tuned. Let's get started. So here's a new steering wheel. Looks great. I got that and a shifter with the, the uh, retainer piece for $200, which I think is an awesome deal. All right, so on to the next project, this sway bar here. And I just, once I made it through, I, I thought, oh, this should have been good to record video. This sway bar was sitting on the outside of this holder here, this bushing. Um, and if you look very closely, again, this is the interesting thing about this car. This bushing and these bushings are actually in very decent shape. There's no cracks. Um, no, nothing really exposed, but I just want to really show you guys this. Okay, so I'm starting to get old, and I'm not as strong as I used to be, and the tension on this bar was pushed forward, um, and it was just too much for me to try to get that push back, get these in here, and actually get this uh, other bushing back up to the hole through the control arm here. So, <laughs> I just basically took a, um, a, uh, whatever those things are called, um, bungee with the with the ratchet on it or whatever you call it I can't think of it it's getting late um but I put that there tied it to the the rear uh one of the rear pieces there back there it's actually one of the last hookups for the jack stand and it moved it back enough where as you can see I can line up these holes then I can line this up put the uh actual the bu top bushing on first which is this put that there and get that on so if you're struggling with this you can always use one of these to help you out. And here we have a job well done. Everything's fastened back up. Uh, these here are in very nice and tight. That's there. Uh, the stoppers or the uh, that mount piece is in the correct position in the socket and underneath there too so it's matched up very well. It's very taut. So not too bad. All right, so uh, what are we working on now? Uh, basically, I have an issue where sometimes the turn signal, when I select it, the back, this is where at the rear of the car, of course, in there, uh, this turn signal right here won't turn on, and you'll get the flash, the faster flashing beep in the front. Um, and, uh, you know, if I move this around some before, it would kind of come on. I would sometimes have to, you know, just uh, pat the back a little bit and it would come on. But I just wanted to take some time today and go ahead and get that sorted. Um, first of all, I disconnected uh, this from the actual pod or the uh, plastic housing that it sits in. And what you'll see is, uh, if I can get this back on the right way, actually it's the reverse. This uh, sits in here. And it has these little tabs that you just pull back very gently with your hands. And there's two more actually in here. Uh, if I can get a good picture of it. Well, you see those tabs right there, okay? And so what I am doing currently is something very simple, which is taking the actual bulb, which is the contact. It has some corrosion. Yours might have some corrosion also. And using a Brillo pad to this is a pretty old brillo pad i gotta get a new one but to just kind of get rid of any of the rust or any of the corrosion that's been from built over time that'll make the contacts cleaner when i'm actually putting that back in so you want to make sure also that your tabs you have these tabs here as you can see um that keep this in place you want to make sure all your tabs are there strong so it's not leaving it loose and then you also want to make sure of right in here that your connectors you want to go over the Brillo pad with those two. 
and uh, that should give you a strong connection because again I fiddle around the wires the wires are fine it's just a little bit of an issue sorry about that with uh, the bulbs so we're gonna go ahead and see once we clean it out this is something very simple that you can do just take a few minutes of time um, and it may keep you from having to replace a whole bulb if you just do this let's see so here it is uh, after getting all those cleaned this was the side that had the problem this is the sticking light and some of these weren't working especially the brake light and uh, now they're all working I think that side is a little bit brighter than it should I might replace that bulb itself but we look like we're good to go awesome snow Michigan winters my first snow day with the car it went well here's another image uh, of me after I plastered the rims again black this time I think it looks much better here's a side by side the two different cars and how basically different they are and I'm a sucker for rear so here's a rear image of the car again too Alright guys, so lastly, if you notice what's in the garage, the Mercedes back in the garage. Yep, it's it's back here. Um, this is the first time she's been back in almost a week. Why? Because the $400 Porsche is pretty reliable. And I cleaned the car up and I didn't feel like driving it when it snowed again here in Michigan. <sighs> yes, it did snow again here. So um, I've been driving the Porsche. So again, I, you know... I brought this car home because I didn't want the battery to go dead. I just wanted to charge it up. I'm going to drive it tomorrow on a nice day, and I'm going to might put it back away and take the Porsche out on Friday when um, we might get a little bit of snow or something like that. We'll see. But it's just a testament to the fact that this $400 car is reliable. So I just, this is a wrap-up of the video. I hope you saw everything. If you're still watching, <laughs> that's totally awesome. But um, it's just a testament, which I'm saying again, don't be afraid when you're looking at these cars. Uh, you look at these projects, you know, use, you know, your knowledge with, and what you know and what you research buying because, you know, it's really possible. Now, of course, something can go wrong tomorrow. It's an old used car. But I just wanted to say it's the first time this car is back in the garage <laughs> because it's been over in the storage unit sitting because um, I've had a great time with the $400 car. And that's part of what it's all about. It's something about buying something super cheap and driving it, the joy uh, of, of being able to drive something. Uh, that you put back together, you gave it life, and uh, and it's carefree. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you guys take care. Until next time.